What's up, everybody? JJ here, and you may notice I'm in some place a little bit different than some of my other videos. I am in the Sanctuary of Swole. This is one of my good friends, Jim's, in his garage. And because a lot of people are going to be working out from home, I'm going to be showing you guys some different uh, garage gym setups, things to think about if you're setting up your own garage gym. Uh, and uh, this just also happens to be a place where I work out fairly regularly with my buddies. So. This garage gym setup is probably in the $1,000 range to $1,500 range. Um, uh, he was really smart in getting some used bumper plates and some used equipment, which is, which if you have an opportunity to do that, I would definitely recommend it. But um, this is more of a setup if you wanna be able to do just about any sort of CrossFit style workout or weightlifting style workout, um, you know, we're gonna go over the stuff he has. The first thing I'll say is he has the, uh, the, the stud bar pull up bar. I know Rogue makes one too. This is the, the only thing he can't do is bar muscle ups and ring muscle ups because of the um, because of that. But you'll notice that he does have high ceilings, which is huge. Um, that's enabled him to have this awesome pull up bar and then a heavy bag here too, which is kind of a fun way. You'll see right now it's the time of year where it's a good time to get get your protein sources set up just in case of the uh, Corona apocalypse. <laughs> so he's he's got some chickens under the heat lamp in here. But all right, so the the. The most important thing to think about when you're setting up your garage gym, especially if you're doing a lot of Olympic style weightlifting or just heavy lifting in general, is the slope of the floor. Most, most garages have a slope to um, uh, let water drain out if there's, some sort of, if there's some sort of issue. So you wanna think about that. Now, if you wanna put your, your bar this way, um, it means that you may end up with some imbalances or it may feel a little bit off. So if you can somehow shim the floor uh, or maybe even practice doing uh, having your, your rack facing away or forward. In fact, if you face uh, down slope, it's almost like you're wearing Olympic sho lifting shoes or it's gonna give you a little bit of a heel lift. So something to think about when you're doing your training, if something feels off, that could be part of it. It won't make a huge difference, but um, it, it might, so pay attention to that. Uh, but the most important thing, if you're gonna do sort of all around fitness and training, is you get a good Olympic barbell and then uh, um, a decent rack, right? This, these two things combined are gonna run you like six, you know, six, seven hundred dollars tops. Um, you can get you can get a lot cheaper and get away with it if you're going to be doing a lot of Olympic lifting. Uh, make sure your floor is designed for that. Um, but then uh, you're going to need a better barbell, right? So you can get a cheap bar if you're just doing squats, deadlifts, bench press, stuff like that. Um, you'll notice he does have the floor pretty well done. Not a requirement, but very nice, especially when it's cold. Um, it's nice to have the uh, the, the stall mats. Um, decent bench. I know he upgraded the bench recently, so this is a, this is a, a bench that's adjustable. Um, you'll see that. You know, a cowbell is a slam ball that can be used for ball slams or wall balls, um, you know, a gang of plates. Uh, and then of course, rings. This is something I'll talk about in another video. And we'll talk about this little contraption here later on. So, so this is, I'll make this up for another video. And then finally we have the, uh, um, the, 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 the dumbbell guy. Now this started with just a couple pairs of dumbbells. Um, we, I know he had 45s and I think 25s, and then it's grown all the way out to the, to the 80s. Um, and then I got another kettlebell here too. So you can see this is it, with, with a very small area, this is just big enough to park a single car. Um, and this can easily accommodate two people training at once um, for, for a lot of different workouts, maybe even three people with a little bit of a uh, little bit of coordination, it's intelligent programming. But once again, welcome to the Sanctuary of Swole. I'm gonna do a couple more videos from this location, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit like on this video and uh, I'll see you in the next video.